I have to admit that I'm still struggling with this whole AI story a little bit because I'm I'm a very down to earth, hands on, I want to work with my data and I need proof for everything person. <laughs> so the, the whole AI change that is happening in the past two years, sometimes, especially the whole um, conversational AI um, or generative AI is, is sometimes frightening me a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. because to me, it feels like I should just embrace that change, like I embrace other changes, but I'm lacking the confidence in it because mm -hmm. I, wasn't, I, I don't understand what is happening. Data mm -hmm. science is my big point. So I don't think really <laughs> understand what is happening. I don't understand what those LLMs are doing. And I don't always trust the the result. So um, and to be honest, you shouldn't either, should you? I mean, <laughs> I don't think anybody should trust the results, you know, blindly from it, because in the end of the day, there's still big black boxes. We don't yeah. know exactly what's going on. And you can try your best by only giving it, you know, balanced data and, you know, good things. But in the end of the day, till they make it more explainable. Yeah. But it's really good for enterprise level data it things is. that you know it saves a lot of time on a certain things but no blind trust and, oh, and i think that's, that's the interesting bit because my feeling is that there are too many people who are just blindly trusting it oh. and i i think what i see as a challenge for myself might also be an opportunity to actually again help not only educate myself but also support others by